Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody. Yes, so in this week's video, not the most glamorous I must admit, but uh, yeah, we're going to be talking around uh, toilet cassette, the process that we go through about cleaning that and uh, I'll go into some of the tools that we use and products and hopefully, yeah, you find this useful. So before we get started with the video, yeah, more of a favour really, if you are starting to like the content and what I'm putting up on the channel, if you can consider subscribing and giving uh, some of the videos a thumbs up, that would be really appreciated. Just looking at the analytics currently, only 8% of you watching the videos are actually subscribed. Um, so yeah, to, to really help uh, the channel grow, I, I really need some support from you guys. So if you can consider, like I say, giving the, some of the videos a thumbs up um, and subscribing, yeah, I would really appreciate that. But uh, yeah, we'll get cracking and on with the video. So when it's come to the, the products and the tools that we've used to get this job done, yeah, you're probably going to want some gloves, uh, a non-scratch, but again, it doesn't need to be non-scratch scaler, but uh, kitchen roll, washing up liquid, a bit of silicon spray. And again, that's the stuff that we've used on previous videos around the actual seals of the windows. A little bit of Vical, just in case um, your toilet set inside is quite lime scaled depending on how regularly you do this. And then, yeah, simple things like um, a small toothpick and one of the barbecue sticks that you get, and then a toothbrush. But uh, yeah, a combination of this, yeah, really does a, a great job in terms of uh, overall maintenance and making it easy for this process. So the first step of the process is obviously gaining access to the main chamber. Um, obviously that's where you're going to do the most cleaning to start with and that's quite straightforward to do uh, it's just a case of removing this panel putting that to one side and then what you'll have here is you'll have this little triangle mark aimed at this circle here which is the position that you would normally be regularly seeing and, and used to and where you want to move this triangle to is this next circle here and again it's quite straightforward to do you just use something sort of an inch and a half by sort of 30, 40 centimeters, just so again, you can put it in this position here and rest it on these two marks. And then you're able then just to turn it. And then obviously you want to get it. So then the circle is then aiming at this other circle, which is then allowing this to be in its unlocked position. And then this will allow you to access the inner chamber and you can just lift this up out of the way. So when it comes to the inside, all we use is warm soapy water. That's that's the only product really we use for in here. Again, we use the scour, um, the toothpicks, toothbrush, um, just to go around the, the corners. Um, but again, it's entirely up to you how long you spend on this process. But um, yeah, as long as you sort of do this on a regular basis, th this shouldn't take too long, but um, just allow it to soak as well. Um, Again, it don't just expect it to be instant on a lot of this. If you want to get uh, to a lot of the corners and stuff, uh, again, just let that warm soapy water just sort of do its bit. Um, and then you'll find when you're using the sticks and the other toothbrush, uh, scour, it'll come away really easy. So one of the other key areas where, which is quite often missed, um, is the actual float that is located in the toilet, which is just under this bit here and does just pop out. Um, and this is crucial for a number of reasons. Obviously one, obviously when it gets to the right level, it indicates to the toilet, uh, makes a connection, and obviously puts the light on inside to tell you that it's full. Um, so again, you need to make sure that there's no sort of toilet paper, because again, quite often, it'll be stuck on this and it'll stop that motion of floating up. And the other one is the actual magnet. And that's how it tells the connection that obviously the toilet is then full. So again, a little bit of sandpaper on this, depending on what it is, um, how bad it is. And obviously when I had this one out, I had quite a lot of corrosion on this. So again, just give that a quick clean up. On one of the products that I did use on this is the Viacal, because this did have quite a lot of lime scale on it. To, so to be able to really bring it back up like new, that's what I've used on this, but that's the only part I've really used a lot of um, Viacal on. Because again, you need to be careful what you are using um, product-wise, certainly within this space. But um, yeah, just unclips. It's held on by these two sort of um, bits here. And again, once you've got some warm soapy water, 
and you've got it swishing around up here, get some on this and this will make it really easy for this just to pop out. But yeah, one of the crucial bits that don't miss this process of making sure that this is clean. So obviously when you are cleaning the, uh, the different parts, obviously you will need to do the, the section that you've pulled away, the lid, uh, and, and probably the lid for the actual um, extendable hose bit when it comes around. Um, and again, use the different tools, again, toothbrush, cocktail sticks, that kind of thing, just to make sure that, yeah, you're able to remove any of the lime scale that's on there. And again, just allow this to probably soak for 20 minutes, half an hour, just so again, just to make it easier. But again, entirely up to you how long you spend on this um, in, in terms of how, how new you want this to look at the end of it. Um, but just be careful in terms of products that you do use. Um, you do not want to be using bleach and that kind of um, product where you've got rubber seals because what you'll find is that will actually break this down over time um, and then you'll need to replace it. So yeah, just be careful what you are using. And like I said, all I've used is warm soapy water um, on, all the, on the majority of this. So um, yeah, once you've uh, cleaned it to the standard that you want, um, uh, obviously use a bit of paper towel just to dry it all out. Um, and then you'll be able to see once it's in a, a dry condition, uh, the, the actual true state of play. Um, if you're happy with that, then you can sort of move on to the actual silicon part. And that's just applying some of this to the actual rubber seals um, and the seal here as well that goes around to obviously lock that in. Um, but again, like I said, this is just the stuff that we've used on the window seals as well. Um, and yeah, you just want to keep this in top shape. So again, yeah, just spray it in. Uh, and obviously with your gloves on, just work the silicon in and underneath. Um, this does come off quite simple. So again, you can really get that sort of worked in your hand. Just put a bit of spray in your hand and then just run it through. Uh, and then, um, yeah, that should be it. But so uh, yeah, and again, another crucial step is making sure that you are lubricating these. Don't step that, I forget to do that part. When it comes to these rubber seals, obviously you got, you got these are your two main ones, but they are changeable. So again, if you find that when you're going to empty your cassette and there is a trial behind you, or it's starting to leak um, in any of these areas, again, you can uh, yeah, purchase replacement seals. And again, it's very straightforward to just put them back in again. So um, yeah, I'll leave a link in the description below if you need to go down that route. The other bit where I've used the silicon spray is actually on the plastic itself all the way around. Yes, I know it's only a toilet cassette, but um, it really does sort of give that new look back to it again. Um, before, like I say, you get to a really sort of faded gray. Um, but yeah, you've probably still got um, a load of access on the, the cloth that you're using. Um, but again, yeah, just a little tiny spray here and there and then just run it all the way around. And once it's all dried up, again, it just puts a, a nice darker sh shine on it. Um, but um, yeah, like I say, that's a, an optional step really, if that's something you wanna do. One of the last items that's often forgotten also is your handle. And again, good just to put a little bit of oil or silicon spray, which is what I've used in this case. Um, and just, yeah, just run it along the actual main frame of the handle, pull it out. And then once you've got some on there, just go up and down a number of times, just so again, that silicon spray can actually work its way in, just to make sure that that handle just extends really freely. So that's the cassette back together. The float is back in. Um, and just make sure that that does go up and down still with your fingers. Um, obviously, this is now being locked back into place and obviously you just need to make sure that you've got the triangle lined up in this position before pushing that down and then slowly putting that back into place. You've got your lid. Um, if anyone obviously new to uh, Caravan is wondering what this button do, does, this is obviously the, the pressure release. So when you are emptying your toilet, obviously you push that in just to allow the contents to flow out a lot easier. And then if you've got a handle that's a bit wobbly, you can just prise this open. And what you have got to, is two screws and you can just tighten those back up again. That's if you've got a, a loose handle. Um, but um, yeah, that should be the, the majority once it's all back together. It should sort of almost look as good as new. 
So hopefully, uh, yeah, you've liked this week's content. As always, uh, yeah, if you can consider subscribing, giving it a thumbs up, that would be great. And remember, I've got a number of other playlists, again, sort of uh, visits to different sites, tips, tricks, maintenance. So again, yeah, if you're interested in that kind of thing, obviously check those out. Um, but that's it for this week, and I will see you all soon. Cheers, everybody.